It was a hard decision to make when making hard decisions. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Breanne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I just share with you my perspective and my opinion on different topics, as is with this one. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels links are pinned to the top of the comment section below. Well, I got to thinking today about um, making hard decisions and how that came about was I had to make a hard decision. As you all know, I'm a 64 year old full time college student. I graduated uh, last semester. I went back to college at age 62 after being out for about 40 years. And I love I love going to college. I'm an eternal learner, whether it's in college, in a classroom or in life in general. And um, and and so I pretty much went straight through the last couple of years and spent a lot of hours behind the computer or traveling into the classroom. And so for me, I've just, you know, I took time out over Christmas and yet I was busy with other projects such as streamlining my whole house and my attic and I've done videos on that. And so I really didn't get a lot of time out or time off. And, you know, class starts in a few days. And I'm already registered at a new university and I'm all excited about it. And yet I decided that I would like to take some time out. Number one, because the classes that are available to me because I, I registered so late because I didn't leave the other college until um, December, um, because I registered so late in the process, the classes that are available to me are not a whole um, a lot of the ones that I want to take. So I decided I would start mid-semester. Well, after talking to my advisor, he suggested I start in the summer and because mid-semester classes would also likely not be um, the best pickings for classes for me. And so um, I thought about it and thought about it and I thought, well, maybe I'll go ahead and just start next week, which is in a couple days, and go ahead and go with that because I'm, I'm a productive person. I love feeling that I'm being productive and I'm being productive whether I'm in college or not in college. I'm a very productive type of person and yet I really wanted to kind of stick with what I have been doing the last couple of years and yet I thought, you know what, I really, really need this time out and just to take things a little slower and uh, work on some other areas of my life. As you all know, I'm very much into fitness and health and taking care of myself at age 64. And um, so I had made the decision. I kind of wavered back and forth. It was very, very hard for me to make the decision, but I did need to let the advisor know this week one way or the other. So today I made the decision to send the email and let him know that I will remain registered, but I won't pick classes until April for the summer session, which starts around June. And so um, I made that decision and it was sort of like, well, you know, I feel kind of sad and yet I feel glad. I feel sad and glad at the same time. I feel sad that I'm not returning to college um, next week, but I feel glad and relieved that I don't have to put that many hours in, um, you know, uh, to go to, you know, that are required when you go to college, at least with the amount of classes that I take. And so I made that decision. It was a hard decision for me to make to decide whether to go back to college, um, you know, next week or wait till June because like I said, April, mid-semester, which a lot of people start in mid-semester. It just wasn't um, the best choice of classes at this point. Now, if some open up, maybe I'll change my mind and start mid-April, but it's most likely I'll take time out until June. And, um, and I feel great about it. I really do. There was a part of me that feels sad that I'm not starting, and yet I know how productive I am. I will make great use of this time, even if it's just to relax and enjoy. Okay, well, from my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe. Links are pinned at the top of the comment section below. And I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.